What's up guys, Irish Turtle here, welcome to my How To Operate A Video series. In today's episode, we're looking at Castle. So, we're going to hop straight into this Operator video, and we'll be back right after. Okay guys, so as we always do in these videos, we're going to look straight at his loadout first. So first of all, he has a UMP45 submachine gun, and then an M1014 shotgun. Now, personally, I've never really used this class, but I think I'd probably use the shotgun, as you're going to be locking yourselves in room with his ability, if you're using it properly on a defensive round. So that's probably what I'd go with personally. And then we see he has the M45 MUSOC handgun, and the 5.7 USG. Now, I think personally I'd go with the Musoc as it's just got that stopping power and that's my preferred choice uh, when it comes to a secondary. Then as we can see, he's got barbed wire and a deployable shield. Now, as he's setting up defences in a room with his ability, I'd say deployable shield is probably a better option with uh, this class. Although, as always, nothing is set in stone. You don't have to do what I'm suggesting here. You can find your own playstyle and you can find your own loadout. Okay guys, so with that, I'm going to hop right over and we're going to go into his abilities. Okay guys, so Castle's ability is actually being able to put down armoured panels on empty windows and doors. Now this is actually an amazing ability because it means that you can lock off a room for being shot into because it make the armour panels are actually bulletproof and also grenade proof. Well, I'm pretty sure they're grenade proof. I've never actually thrown a grenade at a window personally. But um, the idea here is that you can actually like lock down rooms with bulletproof windows and in some cases you can lock down an entire room's entry points with this. Forcing the enemy players to have to blow open the doors. Because the wall is actually bulletproof, the only way to open it is either with a breach charge, a thermite charge, acid remote charge, or sledge's hammer. Now, that may sound like a lot of things, but you have to remember, when they blow the walls open, it means the wall is fully exposed completely. So it means that if an enemy is outside a window, they can't just knock a little slot out and shoot through it. They actually have to expose the entire window. That's actually awesome to see, because it means that they're exposing themselves fully as opposed to only partially. Now, what we're demonstrating here is the fact that there's a shotgun firing at that wall and nothing's happening to it. That armour panel is actually completely like completely intact. No matter how close the enemy is to the wall, it doesn't make a difference. They can't shoot through it. But you have to remember this works both ways. So because just because he can't shoot into the room doesn't mean I can shoot out. The armour panel works both ways. So the only way to open it, as you're about to see, is he's going to have to hit it with a Sledge's hammer, specifically in this case. But like, as I said, it opens the entire window up to you. So it means you can see everything outside that window. So obviously if this was a real match, I'd have shot straight out there once that went. But you have to remember, once a window is completely open, it makes it easy for grenades to come through and enemies to rush in really quickly. And they can get the drop on you and kill you really, really quickly. Okay guys, and that's Castle. So, as you can tell from the way the video went out, he's definitely a defensive class to use to lock down a room and stop enemies from getting in. Now... What I haven't explained in a lot of these Operator videos I'm going to briefly touch on here and probably in later episodes of strategy videos is that Operators work well in teams. So specifically, if you want to use Castle, you probably want to mix him with someone like Bandit or Mute. Because if you lock down like a specifically a door, if you put Bandit's trap in front of it in barbed wire or you put Mute's trap down in front of it, the door actually then can't be detonated. And the only thing that will actually get, go through a Castle wall then is Ash's breaching charge. So if they don't have Ash... Unless they shoot out the device under the door, there's no way of getting through the door. Which actually is really useful to remember, because it means that like you're stopping it to enemy to enemies from getting into a room quickly. And it's actually going to help you like have time to defend yourself. So, with Castle, he's a very useful class to use. You want to make sure you place his castle walls down on somewhere specifically helpful to your team. Not where you think might be helpful, but like communicate. Talk to your team and say to them, right, I want to put my weapon here. So I want to put the defensive shield here. So obviously you're going to communicate, you're going to decide where the best place for castle walls are, which rooms you want to be able to see into, which ones you don't want to be able to see into specifically, so you can put the walls down. And you know, it's one of those teams where, again, you're going to have to communicate with your team, as you do with all the classes really to make them work. But you want to communicate with your team, make sure they're all sorted properly, so everyone knows exactly where to put every sort of item. And you know, that's just how it goes. So... That's pretty much it for Castle, guys. Again, he's a defensive class. As long as you use him right, your team are going to like you. Just make sure you sort of use it in conjunction with them and play along with what your team want you to be doing. As otherwise, you're just going to find you'll be a nuisance to them and you're going to really start to annoy people. So that's Castle. Now, hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series. I think I've got one video left after this one, which is Tachanka. And after that, I'm then going to start trying to do some strategy video, guys, for, like show you guys some clips. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this series. If you have, hit that like button and subscribe for more Rainbow Six videos. 
and I'll see you in the next one.